Hi everyone, welcome to another question and answer session for MRCS exam. A 23 years old man is admitted with suspected ureteric colic. A KEV X ray is obtained in which of the following location is the stone most likely visualized. So, here are the options the options are the tip of the transverse process between the lumbar 2 and lumbar 5 the t top of the transverse process between the thoracic tin to lumbar one at the crest of the hilum over the s3 so as said uh, that means the sacral tree foramina and over the sacral coccygeal joint so from there we have to find out the normal location of the eastern in case of ureter so we have to find out first of all the ureter normal anatomy of the ureter relating to the vertebral column then it will be very easy for us to find out the location where the stone may be impacted so here this is the total urinary system and here you can see this is the kidney it is the right side and left side and the vessels which are entering and going out through the hilum of the kidney and this is the ureter and we can see the a relation this relation also important that in the hilum the pelvis uh, the ureter located or pelvis located with of this relation that means the pelvis or ureter it lies most posteriorly and most anteriorly is vein so vein artery and pelvis or ureter bfe that means this point is very important the location bfp b for vein a for artery, P for pelvis or ureter. So, vein artery, then pelvis or ureter. Then you can see the ureter, it is descend down, down, and finally it reaches in the urinary bladder. And this urinary bladder from the urinary bladder, urethra stretches and the urine passed. So, it is the normal anatomy of a urinary system. First of all, kidney from kidney. There is the renal pelvis and ureter. Actually, there are some other structure behind this, such as the major minor calyx, then pelvis, then ureter, ureter going down and finally open into urinary bladder. And from the urinary bladder, urethra is started. And here we can see in the different places the stone, such as the stone in the bladder, stone in the urethral orifice, or stone in the ureter. And here we can see the stone in the kidney. Actually, in the ureter, there is no stone produced. Actually, the stone production occurs in the kidney or in the urinary bladder. Then from the kidney, stone passes. And when it's going through the ureter, it impacted in the different part of the ureter. Now, we have to find out the normal vertebral level of this ureter. Because the stone coming from the kidney, it will be impacted in anywhere or any part of this ureter. So, this normal course of ureter relating to the vertebral column or relating to the bones is very, very important to find out the impacted zone of this stone. So, here this is the normal relation of the ureter relating to the vertebral column. Here, first of all, we can say this is the right kidney and here the left kidney right kidney is relating to the 12th ribs on the other hand the left kidney is relating to the 11th and 12th rib and here we can see this is the ureter and arising from the pelvis this area this is the renal pelvis and after the renal pelvis their ureter is started and here we can see the ureter is started at this level and this is the lumbar vertebra 2 level so the ureter it started from the lumbar vertebra 2 level and it descend and we can see it descend to the transverse process tip at lumbar vertebra 2 lumbar vertebra 3 lumbar vertebra 4 and lumbar vertebra 5 so these normal points are very very important here we can see the this is the tip of the transverse process of the lumbar 2 lumbar 3 lumbar 4 and lumbar 5 vertebra so four lumbar vertebra tip of the transverse process they are relating to the ureter then we can see some other structure this also important this is the sacroiliac side joint of the 
both sides. So you return them passes to the at the place of the sacroiliac joint, and then we can see the last one here. This is the this point. This also very very important. So there, uh, this point. At this point, this is the HCL spine. So the there. Uh, then finally it reaches into the urinary bladder and here we can see this is the opening of the urinary bladder so it is the normal pathway of a ureter or of ureter so this is the normal pathway from tip of the transverse process of the lumbar 2 lumbar 3 lumbar 4 lumbar 5 then sacroiliac joint then HCL spine then it is the during the opening of the urinary bladder so these are the normal pathway of the ureter so any stone may be lords here or impacted here so we have to find out this whole of the pathway during the find out the stone in the ureter so in this picture we can see here the kidney located and the transfer process and this line it is the normal location of the ureter then it passes through the sacroiliac joint then through in the ischial spine and then finally reaches in the urinary bladder and we can see the stones are present in this pathway of this ureter here we can see this is the tip of the transverse process of the lumbar vertebra here and we can see this is the sacroiliac joint here you get also sacroiliac joint and this point it is the ischial spine point and another location when entering the urinary bladder so here our final answer it is the tip of the transverse process between the lumbar 2 and lumbar 5 vertebra so it is the answer and during the urinary colic the ureter have to find at this area other options such as the the tip of the transverse process of the between the thoracic 10 it is not true because the kidney located thoracic 11 and thoracic 12 so the ureter it starts at the level of the lumbar 2 vertebra then at the crest of the ilium crest of the ilium it's not true because uh, iliac crest is located these places here we can see this is the iliac crest and the ureter is far far away from the iliac crest then over the sacral prominence it is also not true because the sacral promena we can see the sacral promena here this is the sacral promena on both sides uh, there are total eight sacral promena so an ureter is located more more lateral to the sacral promena we can see this area this is the sacral promena and ureter it is located more laterally from the sacral promena and over the sacrococcygeal joint it is also not true because we can see the sacrococcygeal joint it is here between the sacrum and coccyx which is the midline but ureter it is lies away from the midline so our final answer is the tip of the transverse process between the lumbar 2 and lumbar 5 vertebra not other thing other option may be present such as the SI joint or sacroiliac joint then at the level of the HCL spine or at the level where inter, uh, the ureter enters into the urinary bladder so our answer is now this this is the tip of the transverse process of between the lumbar 2, lumbar 5, lumbar 3, lumbar 4 and lumbar 5 particular. Thank you all.